They are not teaching you to be a queen. Only the Word of God is going to do that. Amen. Proverbs 31, Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. You're in Proverbs chapter 5. Look at verse number 1. My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow thine ear to my understanding that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as in honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. Men, stay away from strange women. When it means strange, that doesn't mean they have a bunch of piercings in their face or they got you know, purple hair or anything like that. When strange means foreign. Yeah. Strangers in the Bible means foreign. <laughs> Anybody that's not your wife that's a foreigner. That's right. Avoid it. Because look what it says about her words. They're smooth. They're sweet. Oh, well, you're such a strong... Oh, you're so smart. Not like my... Oh, and, it, and they're going to use flattery and deceit right. to try to destroy your house. The devil's in their heart and he's after you. He wants to mess up your family and you cannot allow it to happen. We have to fight against it. Look at verse 4. It says, But her end is bitter as wormwood sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Look at verse 8. Remove thy way far from her, and come not nigh to the door of her house. Now keep your, your finger in, in chapter 5. Flip to verse se chapter 7. Flip to Proverbs chapter 7. So he's saying stay far from her. Almost like you see it coming. You see one of these strange women coming. Man, get on the other side of the street. Yeah. You get put in a situation at work where you're near one, you need to call in some backup. You need to get out of there. you got to do something different. Stay far from her. You don't want to hear the words she has to say. You need to focus on what God has to say. You need to learn to love your wife by hating the concubines of the world. Amen. By hating the whorish women that the world wants to throw in your face. That's how the devil tries to get you. In Proverbs 7, look at verse 10. It says, And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart, she is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now flip back to Proverbs 5. So here's another characteristic. She's loud. She's stubborn. She has the attire of an harlot. How do you know she has the attire of a harlot? Has anybody ever been through a bad district? It's obvious who's dressed like a whore. You know who's selling themselves on the street. And this is a warning. God hates that. They, have, they don't have any value of themselves in their own mind. And it's terrible. And listen, you know, Pastor Romero said it one time, he said he talked about seeing this, this lady that was strung out on drugs, a tire of an harlot, and he's like, that used to be daddy's little girl. That was somebody's daddy's little girl. Daddy loved her. Daddy wanted her to be raised right, but something happened. Something's obviously missing there. The world raised her. The, you know, the, the TV razor, whatever it is, her values are not in the Word of God. Amen. And she ends up in the, in the gutter. In Proverbs 5, look at verse 15. It says, Drink waters out of thine own cistern, and running waters out of thine own well. Now this is talking about your wife's beauty. Her body is yours, and it's not to be shared. Drink waters out of thine own cistern. In 1 Corinthians 7, it says, The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. Husband, that body belongs to you. Amen. You're in charge. Now look, the verse goes on and it says the same thing for the wife. Husband, your body belongs to your wife. Right. If she says, button up the shirt, I don't want him seeing you. You better do it. That belongs to your wife. Okay? Now look at verse 17. It says, Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. You should cover your nakedness and not share it with other people. You don't need to dress like a whore. You're not for sale. You've been bought with, by the Lord, number one. You're spiritually speaking. You shouldn't be acting like the world. But your body belongs to your husband, and therefore you need to cover it up. You don't need to be sharing it with everybody that wants to walk by. Verse 18, Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoiced with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and the pleasant roe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. God has given you a wife 
for the needs that you have as a man, and it's your responsibility to have satisfaction in her alone and not to share her with other people, even if it's just in their eyes. Verse 